Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss interceptors in C-Sharp, which is one of the proposed features for C-Sharp 12. Interceptors are an experimental compiler feature that allows us to declaratively substitute method calls at compile time. They provide a fascinating way to modify the behavior of existing code by adding new code to a compilation. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload any video. Okay, without any further delay, let's dive into the world of the interceptors and see how they work. Interceptors in Cisha 12.0 Well, what exactly interceptors are? Interceptors are a unique proposed feature in Cisha 12 that allow us to replace calls to interceptable methods with calls to our custom methods at compile time. This provides a powerful mechanism to modify the behavior of our code without changing the original source directly. Now you must be thinking, how do interceptors work? We can achieve interception by using the intercepts location attribute. This attribute allows us to declare the source location of the call that we want to intercept. When the compilation takes place, the interceptors comes into the play and the substituted code will execute instead of the original method call. Okay, so let's try to understand interceptors with the help of examples shown over here. So here, there is a class named program that has main method which is an entry pointer of this application. Here, I am calling my method 1. I am passing parameter Ravi to it. The second time also, I am just calling my method 1. And here, I am passing James parameter 2. If you see the definition of my method 1, it is nothing but the static method and it is accepting one string parameter. And in, in this method, what we are doing? We are just printing this statement, hello, whatever the value that we are receiving as a parameter and param from method 1. This statement is going to get printed into the console window whenever we are going to call this my, right? Now, there is another method, my method 2, which is also nothing but the static method and it is also accepting a string parameter to it. And in this method, what we are doing? We are just printing this high param from method 2, right? But if you notice, in my method 2, I have decorated with this intercepts location, right? So I have written system.runtime.compilerservices.intercepts location. And here in intercept location, I have passed three parameters. First, file path. So I have given the demo interceptors demo program.cs, right? So this is so this this class is nothing but the program.cs file, right? And if you mention and now if you see, I am mentioning line number six and column number nine. So what is the line number six? If you see this here, line number six is the my method one, right? So this line basically I'm pointing to and I have mentioned column number 9. So column number 9 is nothing but the starting position of this my method. one. The system will identify, okay, go to the line number 6, go to the column number 9 and consider this intercept location, right? So that's what I have given this intercept location for this my method 1 that I'm calling in this line number 6 and column number 9 in program.cs, right? what will happen is my method 1 it is not going to get invoked instead the my method 2 will get invoked that's what you see this statement high param from method 2 should get printed right and if you see this output the first my method 1 where i have passed the parameter is a ravi so it got printed hello ravi from method 1 but in the second method call i am calling my method 1 and passing james to it but instead of that it is just invoking my method 2 and it is printing high James from method 2, right? How we have come to know this is the line number 6 and column number 9? If you put the cursor over here, so in Visual Studio, we will be able to see line 6 and column character 9, right? So column character is nothing but the column 9 over here. That's what we need to mention in these things. You must be thinking for everything we need to identify, okay, what is the line number and the character or the column number? No, no, we don't need to do that. This is something that code generator will do for us. So, Currently, intercept location attribute class is missing in the system.runtime compiler services. And when we are trying to use with this compiler services, we are getting error. What error we were getting? A type or namespace named intercepts location attribute could not be found. Are you missing a using directive or an assembly reference? So basically, right now, I think it is missing over there. In order to test the interceptor features, what I have done, I have created my helper.cs file and added the following code to it. That's what I have written namespace system.runtime.compiler services and I have written one sealed class, internal sealed class intercepts location attribute and then I am inheriting attribute, right? 
So attribute uses attribute target dot method allow multiple is equal to true and here i have mentioned this constructor intercept location attribute that is basically accepting file path line and the column this is the column that we have mentioned here in this statement right this statement column 9 if we are putting character over there then we need to mention character okay let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action so here we are on visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the c 12 interceptor for that what i have done i have created one console application c 12 interceptors demo in visual studio 2022 preview id and it has program.cs program.cs file there is a class name program that has main method which is entry point of this application here i am just printing this statement into the console menu c 12 interceptor because i am just giving the demo of the c 12 and if you see in line number nine, I have written my method one Ravi. So basically, I'm just calling one my method one, passing parameter Ravi to it. Line number 10, I have written my method one again and passing James parameter to it. Right? If you see this definition of the my method one, which is nothing but the static method that accepts a string parameter. And in this method, what I'm doing, I'm just printing this state. Hello, param from method one. Whatever the parameter that we are receiving from my method one, it is going to get printed along with the sentence. Hello, param from method one. It get print. Now there is another static method, my method two, that accepts a string parameter. And in this statement, I'm just printing hi param from method two. So this statement is going to get printed. But if you notice in my method two, I have decorated with the intercepts location attribute. So this intercept location attribute is coming from system dot runtime dot compiler service. And here I am passing three things: file path. Basically, I have mentioned D demo C 12 interceptor demo C 12 interceptor demo and program.cs. So basically, I am just giving the physical path of this program.cs. Basically, this is the file we are having. I am just giving the physical path. I am mentioning line number 10 and column number 9 to it. What is the line number 10 and column number 9? So basically, if I am putting cursor over here, line number 10, right? If you see, in visual studio i have seen this line number 10 and character 9 so nothing, nothing but the column right so what i'm doing line number 10 and column number 9 i have mentioned okay this is my intercept location so where whenever the control is going to come under my method 1 this my method will not get executed instead of that my method 2 is going to get executed that is the meaning of the intercept location okay now notice this system dot runtime compiler services i have then i have used intercept ideally system dot runtime compiler services will be having this but somehow it is missing so what i have done i have created one my helper dot cs class here i have written namespace system dot runtime compiler services and i have written this intercept location attribute class and here i have passed this three parameters right constructor receptor location attribute testing file path line and column number it. and this is i decorated with the attribute use attribute target dot method and allow multiple so this class was missing in system dot runtime compiler services i have added that that's what i am able to use that one right otherwise we could get the error like you know assembly reference is missing or something like that in order to circumvent this issue i have added this class over there in the system dot runtime it, let me execute this program and see the output okay so output got appeared into this console window if you see the csr 12 interceptors demo got printed and low ravi from method and hi james from method if you see this line number 9 and line number 10 i have called my method one but output is coming differently if my method one and we where we are passing ravi it is calling this my method one and hello ravi from method one got printed but when we are calling my method one james did not invoke my method one instead invoke my that's what this hi james from method two got print that's how interceptors works we need to keep one thing in mind so whenever we are going to perform interception interceptor and interceptable methods must meet signature matching required otherwise it is not going to work now that brings me to end of my session this session we knew that interceptors in c 12 open up the new possibilities for developers like us to dynamically modify code behavior although they are experimental features they offer great potential for various use cases that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video